Hi, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com. In this video, we're going to see how you can view the contents of any individual layer in Photoshop Elements. So let's go over to Elements and get started. Here we have our multi-layered document open, and I'm using Photoshop Elements 10 for this video. This tip gives us a way to view just one layer at a time. Suppose I want to see what the original photo looked like before I did anything to it. The way it was when I first opened it in Elements. Well, because the first thing I did was duplicate the background layer, the background layer is totally untouched, so I can view the background layer with the visibility of all the other layers turned off to see my original photo. One way to do that is to individually turn off the visibility of each layer by clicking on the eyeball icon. You can even click once and then drag over the eyeballs to hide them all. So I can hide them all except for the background layer. When I look at my photo I see just the background layer and that's what it looked like when I first opened it inside of Elements. And then when you're done looking at the background layer you can click and drag to turn all the layers back on again. But there's a much quicker way, and that's what this tip is. The tip is you can option click on the eyeball if you're on a Mac, or alt click on the eyeball if you're on a PC. When you do that, it turns off the visibility of every other layer in the file. Option or alt click on the eyeball for the background layer, and notice that all the other eyeballs on the other layers disappear. And then to turn the visibility of the other layers back on again, just Option or Alt click on the same eyeball again. If you've done a lot of editing to a photo, this is a great way to see the before and after, because just one click hides and then shows all your other layers again. And if you have turned off any layers before you Option or Alt click, when you do Option or Alt click again, all the other layers will come on but those ones will stay off. Let's say I'm not sure if I want to use this heart or its shadow, so I turn off the visibility. So this is the heart layer and this is the shadow for the heart, and I turn them off. And now if I Option or Alt click on the background layer, everything's turned off like before except for the visibility of the background layer. And now when I Option or Alt click again to turn them back on, they all go back on except for the heart and the shadow layer. And of course it's not just for the background layer. You can use it to see the contents of any layer in the Layers panel. For example, if I want to see what the hair layer looks like, I just Option or Alt click on the eyeball next to it and the visibility of all the other layers is turned off and I can see exactly what that layer consists of. So I hope you can use this tip to work more efficiently with layers in Photoshop Elements. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button right above the video and you will be notified whenever I put a new video on YouTube. Until next time, this is Rick from EssentialPhotoshopElements.com saying take care.